أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. So what we are doing is uh, we are studying the properties of ism. We finished first property of ism, which was status, rafa, nasab, and jar. Three types of status. We learned about that, and then we started learning about jins. I mean gender, because every ism in Arabic language have a gender, masculine or feminine. So we started learning about that. Uh, and we are almost finished with that. Uh, we are, we will just do a little practice today, inshallah, and then we move to, in, to the third property of ism. So I have this slide. Uh, I, this, uh, this is a new slide, and inshallah, we will practice on this as in the main room, and then I will start the, the third property of Islam, inshallah, depending on how much time is left. So this is a list of Islam, and we the task is to establish or determine what is the gender of each of these words, okay? So I'm going to call a name, and then I will request for the first word. Okay, so uh, the first person I'm gonna ca call is uh, is Zainab. Is Zainab there? Yes, yes. Zainab, your word is nafs, nafsun. Nafsun means soul. And you need to figure out what is the gender of this word. Would this be a biological? This could be feminine because of biological reasons. Yes or no? Uh, no. No. Did you say no? no? Okay. Yes. Does it have a ta or buta at the end? Uh, no, it does not. No. Is it a name of a place? No. Is it a body part in pair? No. No. And the linguistic reason, because there are many words, so I copied them over here for you. And is, could this be a feminine because of linguistic reason? Yes, it would. So what is the gender then? Feminine. So nafsun is feminine. Good job. Thank you. Feminine. Thank you, Zainab. Okay. Then Jean. Assalamualaikum. Tanjeen, your task is the next word, Hamzatu. We need to Zatu. establish what is the gender of Hamzatu. Feminine. Feminine, why? There's a ta at the end. Ta at the end. Are you aware, do you know any boy who has the name Hamza? Uh, one or two. One or two, yeah. So it has the indication of a feminine word. It has a round ta at the end, right? But because this word is used for boys, for male, so this so is an exception, thing. right? So what will be the gender then? Uh, masculine slash feminine. Yeah, it has the sign of a feminine at the end, but because but this is used to name boys, this is the name of a male, so that is it's why a masculine. It is masculine. This is an exception from the rule, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Tenjin. So this is masculine. All right. Let's go to Brother Umar Farooq. Brother Umar Farooq, your word is Qalbun. Qalbun. It's, uh, it's uh, masculine. Why? Uh, because it's a body part, but it's not in pairs. So yeah, we only have one heart, right? Yeah. 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 Great. Yeah. So it's a body part, but not in pair, and it doesn't meet any of the other characteristics. Characteristics. Yeah. Feminine gender. Feminine gender. Yeah. So that is why it is masculine. It is masculine. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Brother Umar Fawu. I go to Ali. Ali. Ali Ahmad. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam Ali. So your word is Badr. 
you know the battle of badr or you don't know yes okay and and the, the meaning is badr too so what do you figure it's a name of place it's a name of a place so what is the gender then feminine feminine perfect good job ali very nice very nice you did it very really, really really quick okay we have uh yusuf with us yusuf would you like to um figure out the next word yeah Inshallah. i think it's feminine it's feminine for what reason but then could there be any other reason uh maybe biological biological so it has two reasons huh yeah yeah it is biological all right good good so this is feminine you said right yeah okay shifa you have your hand up so shifa the last word laza assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah um laza this is feminine um it's because of linguistic reasons this word in this list here yes where Sorry. well it's not because anything uh, uh, related to the meaning of fire uh huh could be yeah yeah you got the tough word huh <laughs> but you got it right very good so you are saying any word in arabic used for fire is in what gender um feminine feminine yeah i mean this word laza is not in this list here but in this list we have the word narun fire but if arabs used any other word for fire that is also considered feminine gender so laza means blazing fire very hot fire very hot intense fire so that is also feminine so now i hope that when you see an ism you can first of all determine its status is it rafa nasab jar and now you can also determine its gender is it masculine or feminine okay so that's uh, that completes our second property of ism that is gender okay so now we are going to start the third property so as you see the third property is number what does this mean what does this mean like what does number mean number means is an ism singular or it is dual or it is plural that's all it means so once you have a an ism in front of you you should know is it singular is it dual or is it plural so when we say plural it does not include two more than two means plural so singular dual and plural and there are the arabic words for it mufrad musannan and jam'un right so these are the meaning but you can say singular dual and plural and we know the muslim chart we know the muslim the first column is for singular second column is for dual and third column is for plural we already know these terms singular dual and plural so muslimun musliman muslimin they are all singular muslimani the ending sound is ani or aini then it is dual muslimani muslimaini muslimaini and the ending sound is una ina and ina muslimuna muslimina and muslimina then it is plural right and similarly for feminine chart muslimatun tan and tin this is singular muslimatani taini taini this is dual and muslimatun muslimatin and muslimatin is plural we already know this we are familiar with this so singular is singular we don't need to think much about singular but we we can 
study a little bit dual. So if the word is not dual or plural, then it is singular, simple as that. So we need to know how the dual looks like and what, how to identify a plural. So if a word is not dual or plural, then it will be singular, simple as that. So Muslimun is Muslimani, we already know, just add the word ani. Muskafirun is kafirani, Muslimatun is Muslimatani, and Jamilatun is Jamilatani. We already know this. And we are just going to do a brief exercise to reinforce it a bit, and then we move on to the plural. I'm going a little fast because we know this already. So we are going to make dual of these words, and I'm going to ask some participants to, to uh, help me out here. So brother Rashid, may I request you? Ji, uh, Kalimatun, this is a singular word. Can you give me the dual of this? Kalimatani. Kalimatani. How about Kitabun? Kitabatani. Are you sure? Kitabani. Kitabani, yeah. There is no Tamarbuta at the end. Ta. So Kitabani. Tanji. So masjidone, it's masjidani. Masjidani or masjidaini if it is nasaburja. Very good. Thank yeah. you, Tanjin. Uh, Anusha, Ajrun. Um, Ajrani. Ajrani, very good. Uh, Taimiya, Jannatun. Jannatani. Jannatani, very good, very good. Fatima. Yadun. Yadun means a hand. Is Fatima there? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Hafta. Yadun. Yadaduni. Yadaduni. Yaduni. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You see? Masjidun, Masjidani. The, the last word gets a zabar, fatha, and then ani. Sorry? Yadani. 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 So yad means one hand, or yadun means one hand, and yadani, two hands. Okay. Aiza. Next word. Imratun means a woman. Imratani. Imratani. Very good. Two women. Rajulun means one man. Uh, Daniel. Rajulani or Rajulani. Yeah, Rajulani or Rajulani. Very good. <coughs> two, two men. Okay. Uh, Ibrahim. Ibrahim Farhan. Akilatani. Akilatun. Akilatani. Akilatani. Okay, Yusuf. Brother Yusuf. Kalamun. Uh, khalan, khalani. Rajulun means Rajulani. Sorry, Rajulun will be Rajulani. Kalamun yeah. will be? Uh, Same pattern. Kalamani. Say, say it loud. Kalamani. Kalamani. Same yeah. as, simple. Simple as that. Kalam okay. means, Kalamun means one pen. And Kalamani... Uh, two pens. Two pens. Very good. So this is simple. This is a simple concept. So I didn't want to spend a lot of time on it, but I still wanted to do a little bit. So everybody is, everybody is comfortable and knows what dual means, how to identify a dual, or how to even make a dual if needed. Now we're going to plural. Okay. So we have done singular is singular. Not much to learn over there. Dual, we need to identify how to do identify dual ani any sound. And now we will do plurals. Okay. So we'll start with English language first. For example, the boy, the boy, the word is boy. What will be the plural? Anyone? Boys. Boys. Very good. Very good. We, girl, girls, teacher. Oops. Teachers. Teachers. Mother. Mothers. Mago. 
Mangoes. Mangoes. Can, like a can of soda. Cans. Can. Monkey? Monkey. Monkey. Straightforward, right? Nothing to it. We already, everybody know this. Okay. How about goose? Geese. Geese. Gooses. Gooses or geeses? Or geese? Geese. Why it cannot be gooses? Because of linguistic reasons. Who said that? Daniel? Yes. Yeah. So if I insist on it should be gooses, what you will tell me? Uh, because we say it's geese, you cannot change it to gooses. Yeah, it is geese. It has been geese for centuries. I cannot change it. This is the English language. I have to just accept it. Do you agree with me? Yes. Yeah, I cannot change that. So geese, how about foot, feet? How about mouse? Mice. 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 Okay, fish. Fishes. Fish. Fish. Fish, fish, just fish, just fish. Fishes. Fishes or fish? It's just fish. Just fish. So Daniel is saying just fish. So fish is singular, it's plural, it's also fish. Anybody disagree? Nobody disagrees. So fish is fish. Okay, hair. Like yeah. the hair on your head. Hair, same thing. Same thing, so, okay. Uh, what's gonna be fishes? Fishes? No, I don't think so. Because no, it's not fishes. It's not fishes. It's just the same thing. You can't use it in a sentence. So here is here. Now, of course, now see, can is cans. Man should be man's, right? No. No, it's men. No, it's men. Men? men? Are you sure? Yes. Men. Yes, okay. man. Yes. Man is man. How about moose? Moose is the same thing. Listen, goose is geese. Foot is feet, moves should be me's. No? No, it's the same thing. Anybody disagree with the, with Daniel? No. So moves is singular and this plural is also moves. Isn't that strange? But we cannot change that. We cannot say, oh no, the, the, the English speaking people made a mistake and it should be me's. No, we cannot do that, right? Moose is singular, moose is plural. We just have to accept it. This is a reality. Okay, move on. So these plurals, which I have uh, like encircled them, we can call them for simplicity, we can call them regular plurals because they follow a certain pattern, right? Just add S or ES and it is a plural. Simple as that. But on the left-hand side, you see these plurals, they don't follow a really a pattern. They don't follow a pattern. It could be anything. It depends on how, what uh, English speaking people speak, what they speak, what the language says. That's all. It doesn't follow a certain pattern. So we can call them irregular plurals. Everybody's good up to here? All right, no confusion so far. This is all about English. You already know English, but we are trying to learn Arabic. Huh? So now we will see what is the case in Arabic. Do we have a similar situation or it is different? Remember, we are talking, we are learning about plurals in Arabic. Okay, in Arabic, I have written some words here, Muslimun. Musnasiran, kafiran. You already are familiar with this. Muslimun means Muslim. Do we remember what is the Arab, sorry, the plural of Muslim? Muslimun? Brother Rashid? Muslimuna. Muslimuna. Una sound from the Muslim chart. Very good, Brother Rashid. Uh, Shifa, Nasiran. Plural. Nasiruna. Nasiran no. is, uh, you see, uh, is Nasi Nasirina. Nasirina, perfect, perfect. Good job, Shifa. Anusha, Kafiran. Kafiruna. Kafiran is Mansube. So, Wait, Kafirida. 
Kafirina. Very okay. good. Very good. Okay, we go to um, Noshin. Noshin, the word is Muslimatun. What is the plural? Noshin, no? Okay, Musab. Musab, Muslim. Muslimatun. What's the plural? Muslimatani. Muslimatani? Are you sure? Is that plural? Yes. It's not plural. Plural. You are giving me a dual, uh, Musab. Uh, Muslimatuna. Muslimatuna? <laughs> this is feminine. Remember the Muslim feminine charge. Muslimatun. Muslimatun. Do you agree, Musab? Somebody is saying Muslimatun. Do you agree yes, or no? I agree. You agree. All right. So this is Muslimatun is singular. It's the, it's, the Muslim, it's the Muslim feminine chart. Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatin. Muslimatani, Muslimataini, Muslimataini. Muslimatun. Remember? So that is the plural. Muslimatun. Okay. Let's go to the next word. Next word. Uh, um, Arham. Shabazz, we have Aram is not here. Aiza is here. Aiza, okay, Aiza. Yes. Jannatun, give me the plural. Um, Jannatun ka plural, what do Janna? Yeah, Jannatani? Yeah. Jannatani is plural? It's Ani Janna. sound. Jannatun, huh? Jannatun. Jannatun. Okay. Uh, Brother Hamid, Sajidatan. Sajidatun. <coughs> sa Datun, or it could be Datin, because oh. this is Mansub, right? So yeah. sa the Mansub form will be Sajidatin. Tin. Yeah, yeah. All right, Sajidatin. Abdul Haq, Abidatin. What will be the plural? Abidatin. Very good. So you see there is a pattern here. For the first three words, the pattern is una ina. Muslimuna, nasirina, kafirina. And the last four words, which are feminine, is atun, atin. The first two are atun, and the last two are atin. So una, ina, atun, and atin. So it looks like there is a pattern here. There is a certain pattern, similar to the pattern here for the first uh, you know, column of singular words. You know, the plural had a pattern. So it looks like there is a pattern here. By the way, it looks like we won't be able to go to the breakout room. So it will be all, uh, all me today. So if we go to the, uh, like us, we do a similar, uh, we go, we try some other words now. So we have tried a few words which have a pattern. And now some other words. Malakun. Malak means angel. Its plural should be malakuna. Right? Malakuna. But is it malakuna? Any senior person from the class? Brother Ashur, what is the, uh, the plural of malakun? Malaika. Malaika. Malaika, yeah. <coughs> Malaika tun. So this is not Malik Malakuna. Or it Malakina. No, it is not. Okay, Masjidun. Masajidun. Masajid. Masajidun. Masajid. It, it is not Masjiduna or Masjidina. It is Masajid. Kalb. Kalb means a heart. Kulub. 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 Very good. It is not Kalbuna or Kalbina. Do you see? Or it is not Kalbatun or Kalbatin. No. It is different. How about Fajir? Pujar. Pujar. Pujar could be another one. Fajiruna. Yeah. Fajar is good. Or it could be Fajaratun. Ah, Fajaratun. Yeah. 
Fajaratun. Rakeon. Plural will be. It can be Rakeona. I know. But there is another one too. Yeah, it is Rukkaon. Rukkaon means those who do Ruku. Nabijun. Ambia. Ambia. Yeah, very good. Ain on Ain means one eye. More than two eyes is. Ayun. 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 Thank you, uh, Ibrahim. Ayunun. So, do you see any pattern here? <laughs> Una, ina, or atun, or atin pattern, or any other sort of a pattern. They're all different. Malakun is malaikatun. Masjidun is masajidun. Kalbun is kulubun. So, they're all different. Right? While over here on the right hand side, they followed a pattern. So from this, it looks like Arabic is very similar to English with respect to plurals. Hmm? It's very similar. So these words like our English, they are regular plurals. They are regular plurals. But so the regular plurals end with una sound or ina sound, or atun, or atin sound. Four sounds. Una, ina, atun, or atin. When they end with these sounds, we call them regular plurals, or we can have given them another name, and that is sound plural. Okay, we call them sound plurals. And the other ones, which do not follow a pattern, which we called irregular plurals, we call them broken plurals. So in this course, the plurals which follow a pattern, the pattern of una, no, ina sound, or atun or atin sound, we will call them sound plurals, jamasalim in Arabic, sound plurals. And the plurals that do not follow a pattern, could be anything. It's hard to even tell they are plurals. Those plurals are called broken plurals. The irregular plurals are called broken plurals. So in this course, sound plural and the broken plural, these are the two terms which will be used very, very frequently. So we should be good at it. Okay. Any questions so far? Easy stuff, right? Easy stuff. Okay. So, I'm just going to conclude this now. Brother Shiva, so we just have to memorize those words. This, with the ones with uh, the broken plural. Yeah, so. there, because they don't follow a pattern, we just have to memorize them. You are right. You are absolutely right. So in going back to the Muslim chart, because this is how we started this course, right? Muslim chart. You see, the, there is a plural column for the masculine chart on the right-hand side, and there is a plural column for the feminine gender chart on the left-hand side. I just circled them because we are learning about plurals. So the, on the right-hand side, you see una, ina sound, and for the feminine, you see atun and atin sound. These plurals are called sound plural or jamasalim in Arabic. The year ending sound is una, ina, atun, or atin. If it is una, ina, then it is masculine. If it is atun or atin, then it is feminine. But other plurals which do not have this ending sound, they are called broken plurals. So remember two terms. Sound plurals and broken plurals. Sound plurals end with una, ina, or atun and atin sound. And if they don't end with these sounds, and they are still plural words, those plurals are called broken plural. That's it. That's it for today. 
and inshallah we will build on this and there will be inshallah more participation from uh, from the class in the next session uh, we will try to figure out the the type of plural it's a simple concept but it's a very very important concept in arabic language if there are any questions you can ask them now otherwise we are done <laughs>